Okay, we have Ernie and Ernie, and tell us about the car. Well, first tell us about your company, what you do. Yeah, I'm uh, with uh, Reynolds Custom Coach Works uh, over in the city of Whittier, and uh, uh, we've been involved in restoration of uh, exotic and classic and uh, low riding cars for, for uh, over 45 years. Uh, I have uh, uh, my family, uh, my brothers, uh, were inspiration from the youngest to the oldest, and uh, and I really enjoy, um, you know, having the opportunity and uh, uh, having the gift to uh, restoring these old Jaguars, which I enjoy uh, immensely. You do a beautiful job, and your son works with you. And tell us a little bit about the car. How did you find this, and what's the story? It's a it's this a one fifty. Uh, it's a one fifty S uh, Roadster. It's okay. a sixty second one fifty S build in the world. And uh, uh, I knew about the car in the uh, late 70s. Uh, a friend of ours, uh, Lyle, uh, Don, uh, uh, we rekindled our uh, friendship again here uh, about three or four years ago to find out that he had this Jaguar still you know, in his possession. And when we met, uh, we opened up the garage and there was a 150S Roaster. And I said to myself, uh, I want this car, <laughs> but he wanted it too. So anyway, I got it up and going for him, and uh, later on, uh, you know, he took a liking to us, and uh, he, uh, he offered the car uh, uh, to my son, and uh, he ended up purchasing the car. And now we just uh, try to get it uh, roadworthy, and uh, so other people can see it and enjoy it. Well, it looks beautiful as far as the markings on it. The S is the S right in the side. The S the. Uh, the package, uh, the uh, performance package. Uh, this car is uh, the predecessor to the XKE, and uh, basically it's got the same engine as the XKE. Uh, uh, only in this is a uh, 3.4 uh, version versus uh, uh, the 3.8 version that the E-Type had. But uh, basically it has uh, the three SUs, a two-inch three SUs with a straight forward head, and it uh, the power delivers about 250 horses. Wow, and it's got roll-up windows instead of curtains. Now, did, did the correct. 120 had curtains? Is that right? Uh, the 120 had curtains. <clears throat> okay. Well, the car's been displayed at numerous of shows. Oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah. 2012 Palos Verdes uh, Concourse Elegance. Beautiful. Yeah. And so uh, the brakes, it used. Uh, it's got the disc, brakes discs all the way around. Disc brakes all the way around. And that was that was. Early, this was one of the first disc brakes all the way around. One of the first, one of the first production cars with four wheel disc brakes. Yeah, in uh, in fifty, late fifty seven, early fifty eight, uh, uh, Jaguar offered the disc brakes on the, on the one fifty. They made it standard. This particular car has the bigger calipers, on, you know, for braking power. Okay. Okay. All right. This is a knockoff. Walk, take a walk around the car here. Uh, beautiful car. We'll zoom in on the 150. Yeah, in uh, uh, in the 150 also. They, uh, they went into uh, the, the brass grill. Uh, the predecessors, the 140s, had the, uh, the cast uh, uh, a pop metal grill, which is a little heavier. And, uh, and I think at the 150, they came back uh, with this particular grill, the brass grill, like the 120s had. And it, uh, you know, it's, it's a really nice grill. It's all soldered in. Uh, you know, the vines all soldered in. And, and it's, uh, you know, it, it shows good with that grill. And it's a driver too, so yeah, the, the paint job was uh, from the 70s and you rubbed it out. Yeah. And then, it's it's yeah. a lacquer job done okay. in the 70s. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Beautiful car. Okay, we've got Ted here. Ted is a <laughs> Ted is a, what a Newfoundland? Yeah, he's a Lancer Newfoundland. Lancer Newfoundland. Hey, let's get your goggles on. Hey, bud. He likes to ride in the car. Okay. There we go. Come on. 
There's Ted. There he is. Ready to go? You ready to go for cruise? <laughs> <laughs> he fits on that seat. He does. It's yeah. great. Oh, oh, nice. oh, so so head about this high up the windshield with yeah. his lips like he's flapping. Blowing. So yeah. he kind of drools a little bit. So how, how did you train him to do this or how did that go? What was it he like? He goes to work with me every day in my Silverado. Look at that hanger he's got going there. Oh, dude. And uh, he just loves riding cars. Okay. And uh, So your name? I'm Mark. You're Mark? Yeah. Oh, that's Ted. That's Ted. Hey, Ted. And this is uh, 356. Ooh, look at that hanger. He, it takes me about three weeks to get the car detailed after he rides in it. <laughs> but it's worth it. So talk a little bit about the car. Well, it's a CMC 1957 Porsche Speedster replica. Fiberglass body on a 73 Beetle IRS pan. Has uh, four-wheel disc brakes. Uh, Freeway fire trend. 76 cc about 150 horsepower um, it's a fun little car and it's something I can drive every day if I want or take car shows or put Ted in it go cruising <laughs> well thank uh, you Mark Ted's Ted's definitely a star <laughs> he's, he's the official to mascot right of Octane <laughs>